yesterday, I, either yesterday or the day before, I asked my daughter, I was like, I bought her the um, Dream On Me convertible mini crib. And um, yeah, things are holding up. Backdrop's doing better this time. It's not sideways and all inside out and upside down. So I was really excited about that. Um, if you didn't see my video from, actually it was a video before this one. Yeah, I think. So if you didn't see that, go and watch it about my bangs and the backdrop. Anyway, so I was talking to my daughter and I'm like, I want to do a review on it because I really thought that it was a good crib. And I know how a lot of parents are like neurotic and rightfully so when it comes to a safe place for their baby to be sleeping. So she's like, okay, I said, send me a picture and send me, um, a picture of the crib and then a picture of her in the crib. Well, she sends me a picture of the crib and then she sends me a picture of her in the crib and I could tell like she was sad, you know, like her little eyeballs. I mean, they, they speak to me. I mean, I know when she's sad, so. And I said, she's sad and she's like, well, it's daytime. And she knows when she goes in the crib, it's night night time, you know? And now I feel like it's my fault because I asked for a picture, you know? So I deleted that picture. I am not posting that picture. I am not using that picture because it made me really, really, really sad. And it broke my heart and it was all Omi's fault. I call my, I'm Omi, that's grandma. Too young to be an old grandma. <laughs> not really, but, um, so, yeah, so let me go ahead and talk about why you came here. It's the it's the Dream On Me convertible mini crib. The first thing I want to point out is that yes, it is a convertible crib. I think it um, turns into a mini day bed or like a twin bed, but you have to buy the frame separately. It doesn't come with the frame. So it can be converted, but there's other parts that you have to get for it. Um, but as far as the substance and quality and safety of this crib, it's well worth it. And it de I can definitely tell that it has the, um, the ability to endure the test of time to make it to that point. Um, it's a really, really good crib. I'm gonna, I have some notes here about it so that I make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. So if you see me look down, that's exactly what I'm looking at. You might even be able to see it in the screen, I don't know. But, um, so, originally I started looking at cribs probably about a month or so before she was um, expected to be here. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, cause she had a small, like a smaller room and for it and size was or space was an issue so a full-size crib wasn't going to cut it i was thinking more along the lines of a bassinet and that flew out the window really quick when i thought about her bulldog letty um as sweet as pie but she thinks she's this tiny little thing and she will literally crawl into little tiny spaces where she does not belong and she would probably knock a bassinet over even if it was one of like those bedside ones you know that go under the bed or one with a wide base or whatever the case might be she would have knocked it over if we if we went that route so <clears throat> i decided that it would be a good idea to suggest you know the mini crib to her and um I'm glad we did because it, it fit perfectly in there for her. It was, it was a really good starting crib, you know, and, or it is a really good starting crib. She's only five months old, but yeah. Um, so it's good if you have a small space. Um, perfect if you have a small space. She still has a lot of room to sleep in there and everything, but as far as like her little antics at night with moving around I don't know but so the dimensions are it's 36 inches high it's 39 inches wide and it's 23 inches deep so it's it's a good size for a small space and for a baby that's it I mean it does the job 
Um, what else was I looking into? I jotted down a few things that I remembered I was thinking of when I was looking for one. Um, the safety was a big thing because I think like, I'm not 100% sure, but when I had my babies, I think it was when like the big thing came out where you shouldn't buy older cribs, older used cribs or antique cribs and stuff like that because they don't have the same bar regulations, safety standards that they do now. So that was a big, huge thing to me. And when I was looking into the Dream On Me um, company and their crib brand, I found out that, let me see exactly what it's called. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. JPMA, okay, they're JPMA certified. And I looked at JPMA because I'm like, well, what is that? You know, I was familiar with the Green Guard, but I wasn't familiar with JPMA. So apparently JPMA is like a third party lab that tests the safety um, components of items and it's third party. It's not a requirement. So they opted to have this crib tested by them and it met all safety standards. So I thought that was pretty awesome. That really was like, okay, yeah, you know, if they're willing to have a third party test it and it met um, the, the standards um, for certified items, great. Because JPMA, it not only has to meet the government standards, but it has to meet like market marketplace standards as well. Like, so yeah, when they use even like the paint and stuff like that, you know, you have to be really, really like super careful. So they are Green Guard certified too. So in regard to another question that a lot of people think about is, oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Like why have I lived in Florida my whole life when I hate the heat? Anyway, what was I saying now? <laughs> Just kidding. I really, oh, the, the mattress. So that's a big thing that people like wonder, does a mattress come with it? Well, most of them that I was looking at, they came with, some of them came with mattresses. I won't say most, some of them came with mattresses and everybody would post, I had to replace the mattress. I got a new mattress, I had to get a different one. So I honestly didn't even look as to whether or not this one came with a mattress. And I don't remember because I didn't set it up, but I bought the, um, let me get the name of it. I wrote it down. It was the Dream On Me Holly Portable Crib Mattress. But this one is also a Green Guard Gold Certified one. Um, so, yeah, that was a um, a good mattress, and it's it's held up and it's perfect and it's wonderful. And I would highly, 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 highly recommend it. It gets really good ratings. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I put down on here that, oh, the, the mattress levels. Like I'm five feet tall. So when I had kids bending over the rail of the crib to get the baby out was a nightmare. And yes, this one does have three levels. And let's see, I think that was really it. Oh, they have it in different colors too. I got the white one, but they have gray espresso, French, French white, um, black, natural wood, and cherry. <clears throat> Those are all the colors that they have. So it's not just the white one. Um, I just thought that she would probably like the white one best. Um, she did know she was having a girl. They didn't have a pink one or I probably would have bought her a pink one. <laughs> but um, yeah, she um, she liked the white one. So go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you're new to my channel. If you are already subscribed, I will be seeing you soon. Um, I'm really happy to be back. It's doing me a world of good. Um, if you don't know why I took a um, leave of absence, if you will, from Facebook, I mean, <laughs> part of the reason, can't remember anything, from YouTube is um, in my original video, the one that says I'm back, um, 
And yeah, I am. I'm happy to be back. It's 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 been good for me. It's been good for um, keeping me busy and for my mental health and stuff like that. Um, so, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for commenting. For for subscribing, and all of that fun stuff. I hope you'll continue to do so. And if you haven't, I hope you'll start to do so. Um, because it really means a lot to me and I hope that I'm giving you guys, um, you know, stuff that you like. And if I'm not, then let me know in the comments because I am so open to suggestions and stuff like that in regard to what you guys want to see. So I will see you guys soon and I'm going to put my hand in the right place this time, <laughs> I promise. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.